as the plague doctor in the top left corner will gladly tell you, 2020 isn't unprecedented just because we've got a pandemic. We've seen that before, but it's the first time we've got a pandemic in the age of smartphones, computers, and the internet. The machines in our pockets and in our homes have been able to get us to do something in this pandemic that we haven't done before. We've been able to tell a huge chunk of the workforce to just go home. Keep working though. Keep doing the work that you were doing before, but with some adjustments. These adjustments have been difficult, but they're tantamount to what we would call remote work. What if I told you that there's a group of people who have been doing remote work for about a decade? These are the digital nomads. You could see a map of them in the top right corner, because you see these people move. They are the people who realize that laptops are now good enough for us to do pretty much the work that we need to do on a computer. So they picked up their laptops and they went traveling all over the world, at least until the pandemic. They've had great adventures, but more importantly, they've shown us how to do remote work. So maybe you think I'm here to tell you how to be more productive and efficient and keep your team focused during the pandemic, but there's an even bigger story for us to figure out the new norm of post pandemic future of knowledge work. You see, there's basically two types of digital nomads that we've observed, and thus we're looking at two different futures for our own lives. In one future, represented by one kind of digital nomad, these digital nomads realize that travel is a great way to build up a company, to be entrepreneurial, to be creative, come up with new unique value propositions. It's a saturated labor force. Go and figure out new kinds of things that we could do, new business models. They've done pretty well for themselves. This picture in the bottom left corner is from a co-working space that I visited in Estonia, very popular among digital nomads. You can see there's all sorts of new companies that are being started. But I've got a warning as well, because you see the second future that we're looking at, the second kind of digital nomad, they're the ones who just really wanted some quick money so they can keep traveling. And they got the quick money, but the work that they found was really precarious. It is kind of like factory work, assembly line work. It doesn't require very detailed, in-depth cognition. It requires very manual, routine knowledge work. Just move things back and forth. Just categorize these images. Just help train the artificial intelligence that will one day replace you. That is a darker sign of things to come. That is a different kind of future. That is the future in which the more we work with the machines, the more we become like the machines, and the less we are human, creative, imaginative, innovative. So the message from the digital nomads, the lesson is this. Let's be less like machines. Let's be more human. The more we work with these machines, the more we must be human. Thank you for your time today, and may you all be well.